I'm just leaving my eye doctor's appointment and I want to give y'all an update on my eye health. Um, so at one point I told y'all um, and I was even posting videos of me putting in the stingless bee honey into my eyes. I think I might have did that like four times. I don't know. I, I, every time I did it, I posted a video of me actually putting it in. Needless to say, there haven't been any more videos added to that stingless bee honey playlist because I have ceased putting those damn eye drops in my eyes. Um, one, because it did not fix my pressure in my eye. Um, so to back up, I have been diagnosed with glaucoma. Um, I have very bad vision. I went to the doctors today. They were just, again, the same doctors, eye doctors, but it was a different um, optometrist I've seen. And he was just like in awe at my prescription and the fact that I can still see with glasses. <laughs> but he, he was excited to get the work and to try and figure out the best prescription so they can um, get my contacts. When I order contacts, it takes a good month for them to come in uh, because they're specially made. Um, so they have to do a lot of work and get certain things just right in order for my prescription to be good enough for me to see. There's so many different factors and I gotta hand it to these um, optometrists because they really put in the work to really figure things out. There's math involved, there's different factors of my eye that they have to look at. Um, so, you know, I feel really good about um, the guy that I talked to today, um, seems up for the challenge. <laughs> but, um, I wanted, I, I came on here to say all that too, just to give you an update and let you know, one, I'm not taking those stingless bee honey eye uh, drops anymore. Um, not knocking anybody else who's taking them if they, they were working for them, but I've noticed for myself, my prescription is so strong, my vision is so bad that, um, I need to seek, you know, medical attention the natural homeopathic way was just not working for me um but anyway also i learned today that i have floaters i have floaters you know the little things that float through your eye and i never really paid attention to it until just recently um and now it's making sense that he said that because <laughs> so many times recently I'm like looking, like thinking there's like a fly in the house. And I'm like going like this because I see something. And I look and there's nothing. I'm like, okay, all right, it's nothing. Um, and uh, so yeah, that's something new, floaters, right? Um, so I know you guys have been seeing me wear my uh, glasses more and more. Um, and I wanna specifically talk about that now. When I was younger, I was so traumatized from wearing my glasses because I was bullied. I was bullied, and that's the right terminology. Um, you know, before I'd say I was made fun of a lot, it was bullying. Yeah, I mean, let's just be honest. I was bullied very badly about my glasses. Um, and, you know, it, it affected me internally, um, how I showed up in the world, so I wouldn't want to wear them around people. Um, even, you know, my, my current boyfriend now, it took me a second to want to wear them around him. But now look at me. Go out and about every day wearing them um, because I have learned that my glasses aren't a hindrance to me. They actually help me to see better and to show up in the world and to be able to participate in the world. If I didn't have these, I would not be able to do that. I would not be able to drive. I would not be able to work on a computer. I wouldn't have my job. Um, so it's, it's such a blessing um, that I do have them and um, what I also want to say to you guys is make sure you are going and getting your annual eye exams um, your annual you know PCP checkups and things like that too um, because those are times where you're doing preventive care they're just checking you just to make sure that there's nothing going on with you and if you're going annually then that gives you an opportunity to sometimes catch things before they get worse. I decided to take my health um, very seriously um, just recently. And, you know, I, I scheduled a full workup at my PCP. Um, I decided to go see an ophthalmologist 
instead of just going to Walmart or Vision Works to get my um, contacts. I'm like, I need to go to a specialist because my eyes are special. I need them to see. My vision is poor. So when I went to the ophthalmologist, that's how I found out that I had the glaucoma. I caught it early enough. As you know, glaucoma, and if you don't know, glaucoma is um, called the, the blinding disease because eventually if it's un left untreated, I will go blind. It's, it's just the nature of the disease. I also found out as well that um, eventually I will get cataract. <laughs> There's no way around it. A um, couple different uh, eye doctors told me that. Um, but when that happens with cataracts, they take the lens off of your eye and replace it with another eye. So your vision's back and even better than it ever has been. So I won't even need glasses at that point. Um, but that's later on down the line. But um, be kind to people. When you see people with, you know, glasses in a wheelchair or struggling with something, be kind because you do not know how your words are going to affect them eternally in that moment and years to come. And I say this from experience because again, I was bullied as a kid because of my glasses. I remember I, in elementary school, I had a vision teacher. Yes, a vision teacher. So someone who helped me see better, they would give me vision aids, like a magnifying glass. When we'd have those state exams, this one time they blew my exam up. The exam was the size of my desk. <laughs> they blew the exam up the size of my desk. And I remember this one boy, I'm not gonna mention his name, but he made fun of me so bad. Everybody looked or whatever. He was like, man, I used to always cheat off of Wendy. He had a big ass test. Um, that's just one of the little mini things that I heard uh, growing up, but that stayed with me for a while uh, because I internalized that. I couldn't process that as a young child. I didn't have anybody around to tell me, explain things. You know, um, no fault to my caretakers at that time, my family. Um, but I, I'm saying all this again to say to be kind to other people. And if you are struggling with something like that, do the internal work to get yourself to a point where you accept whatever it is that you got going on. You know, like me, I accept the fact that I need these glasses to see. Just like someone who is a paraplegic and can't move their body from the waist down needs their wheelchair, same thing. We don't go around making fun of people who are in wheelchairs, so we shouldn't go around making fun of people who wear glasses that are thick because they need them to see. All right. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my little eye update. Glaucoma, got floaters. Um, waiting for my new contacts to come in. And um, just trying to be the best that I can. So you guys, please do something positive today for your mind, your body, your soul, and of course, for someone else. Take care.